Hi, I'm Julie, and I'm here with Jaden and Brendan. And today, we're going to talk about how who we think is going to win the each NFC division this year. Jaden, I'll start off with you. I believe the Dallas Cowboys will win the NFC East this year. The Detroit Lions will win the NFC North this year. The San Francisco 49ers will win the NFC West this year. And the Carolina Panthers will win the NFC South this year. Wow, some big takes there, especially with the Panthers winning the NFC South. How about you? Um, I feel like the Dallas Cowboys will win the NFC East. The NFC West will go to the San Francisco 49ers. The NFC North will go to the Green Bay Packers. And the NFC South will go to the New Orleans Saints. See, I disagree with multiple of your picks. First off, I don't trust Derek Carr to win a team games when it matters, whether that's in the playoffs or even the regular season. I don't even think the Saints will get to the playoffs. I don't think they're sniffing the playoffs. Uh, Green Bay, great team, great story. I just think Detroit is better at this point. You up and down the roster. Jarek Off is arguably a better quarterback than Jordan Love. You have the running back, Josh Jacobs, who was incredible in Vegas. Now in Green Bay, he's going to have a much bigger role. You have a great receiver core in Green Bay but not as good as Detroit. When you look at the receivers, you have Amara St. Brown, arguably the best receiver in all of football. And you look at the defense, Detroit has one of the better defenses in the league. Obviously, they were in the NFC Championship game last year. They were about 18 minutes away from going to Super Bowl 58. Well, the thing about the Green Bay Packers is they are super young. Jordan Love is very young, and our receiving card is the youngest in the league. They played the best team in the NFC, the San Francisco 49ers, and they took them to the brink pretty much until the second half. So this Packers team is young, and they are going up from here. It's going to be a tight race between them and Detroit, but I think Green Bay will just end up on top because we're talking about Detroit here. Nothing goes right in Detroit. So I just feel the choke is inevitable for the Lions, and the Green Bay Packers are going to come on top in the NFC North. Now let's hop over to the NFC South. We both had different takes. You said the Panthers, and you said the Saints. Let's let's look at the Panthers. Obviously, I believe that Jordan, uh, Bryce Young is going to have huge, huge development in his second year. You see that in most quarterbacks. Once they have a year under their belt, they go through a lot of development. And they've put him around better receivers. They drafted uh, Xavier Leggett um, in the draft this year. They also have Adam Thielen, who can still produce as a good receiver, even though he is one of the oldest receivers in all of the NFL. So you look at the team the Panthers have put together. Yeah, they're not the best team, but you don't need the best team to win the division. As you saw, the Houston Texans last year with a rookie quarterback led the AFC South on the last weekend of the season. So I believe the Carolina Panthers have the best chance. Tampa Bay is good. I don't think they're good enough this year to win the division again. I think Baker Mayfield's going to regress a little bit. I want to see how Kirk Cousins comes back off that Achilles injury. I can't trust a 35-year-old's Achilles to repair and rehab in time to go under all that physical uh, endearment of an NFL season. And obviously, like I said, Derek Carr, I, I can't trust him to win, a, win games when it matters. So but I think Carolina... Young and up and coming. We've seen that in all of the NFL in the last year. They've the more young and up and coming players have uh, won unexpectedly. So that's why I think Carolina is winning the division. Now, why do you think the Saints are going to win the division? Well, I completely disagree with Derek Carr. Today. Derek Carr, I think last year just had an off season. Derek Carr, when he's Derek at his Carr's best, never won a playoff game. Derek Carr, in my opinion, when he's at his peak, is a top ten quarterback in the NFL. The Saints have Michael Thomas, who, if he can stay healthy, he's one of the best receivers in the game. Chris Olave is a stud, Michael and Thomas that defense is, a free agent. is very he's not with the Saints good. Anymore. Okay, well, Chris Olave is still very good. This is a very good team. They still got Alvin Kamara, a top running back in the NFL, and the Carolina Panthers won two games last year. Bryce Young was an absolute disaster. I don't see Carolina sniffing the top on the NFC South, and this division is very weak. So, I think it'll take not, just nine wins to win this division. I think the Saints will come up on top. Derek Carr in his best year won 10 regular season games. He's never won a playoff game in his career. He's only played in two playoff games. I cannot trust him, especially because that team is not as good as it used to be. Michael Thomas is gone. They've lost other players throughout the offseason. Yeah, yeah, Chris Olave, he's a solid receiver, but he's not as good as people think. When you look at the stats, I take Adam Thielen and what they're building up in Carolina over what New Orleans has down in Louisiana. So... At the end of the day, I can't trust Derek Carr to win me games when it matters. And you see the youth movement in the NFL, Bryce Young, next quarterback up. I think it's 
too soon for the Panthers. I mean, two wins, you're not going to just go from two wins to winning the division in one year. No matter, I mean, no matter what you do. The Texans won three or four games in 22. Draft C.J. Stroud. Win a division, won a playoff game, too. We got a great debate going here about who we think is going to win each NFC division, but we got to go to a commercial break. You're watching SBC News right now.